Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Good morning, Bushwick here. And you guys already know what time it is. And we, yeah, let's go get a little cheers there. Cheersy, cheersy. We got to remind everybody we're coffee. at 219 Central Avenue here in Bushwick, Brooklyn. The borough of Brooklyn. County of Kings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Oh my god! Yeah, but you know, I'm. You know, I'm, I'm. You know, you know that's gonna be a thing now. You know that is now a thing. It is now a thing. I'm gonna perfect it, and it's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be this long, drawn out intro. Yes, for no reason. Simply because I've yet to watch Game of Thrones, but I saw someone share in, in just before. That in itself, we need to talk about at some point. Yes, we will. Um, yo, and I really do want to watch it, man. And I, yo, and I'm gonna watch it simply because I'm a man of my word, and I promised B I would. And now it's not like a, a thing that people are shoving in your face. It's not, it's but over, still, man. there was one person who, you know, we shot him out last time. Gonna get shot out again. I love you, Vela. You're my brother, but you get on my fucking nerves. But I do love you, bro. I love you, man. I love you with all my fucking heart. Pure but, intentions. Yes. He, 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 yo, you know what it is. It's, you know, you say your friends and family members know how to annoy you the most because they know you. Oh, yeah. And, he, yo, he, he does this. He's like, he's like a kid on an elevator when they see all the buttons. Or you ever see that episode <laughs> of The Simpsons when Bart pushes all the buttons before he gets off? He's like, uh, <laughs> all the buttons on the way down. <laughs> and that's it. And he's like, fuck, bro. <laughs> that is annoying shit. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, because I promised her I was going to watch it. I am. I have every intention to watch it. Um, but I saw a Lamar Jackson meme. And they shared him. He did like a photo shoot, and he has on like, like I said, like the Game of Thrones like shit. And they were like Lamar Jackson of the North, like, uh, like it, uh, it was they ridiculous. They gave him the long shit. Yeah, like it was ridiculous. <laughs> like what I was saying, it, it was, it was, it was ridiculous, and it was just wild. Like this, is, it was hilarious. And uh, you know, you know, we way off from where we was going. Where we were going, yeah. That's how powerful Game of Thrones is. Yes, that's how powerful Game <laughs> I of just Thrones need is. You to understand we that. completely veered off topic there. But, you know, while on the topic, I am gonna get very you know, I'm not gonna get as savage as Game of Thrones, you know, but eviscerating this. But uh you know, there was a very viral clip that went viral from our magic you know, our majestic wonderful city. Uh and that was uh there was a I don't want to even say impromptu. This was clearly a staged event. Uh, on an MTA, I can't even say on MTA, on the fucking L train, man. On an L train, on a Canarsie bound L train. And if I saw it right, they were at Graham or the next stop was Graham. So, two things, multiple things. I'm just, just going to go in on this shit. Multiple things about that that annoy me. A, ain't nobody, ain't nobody that's really from on the L train within that region. Let's just say within those regions, from that stop, from where that was at. From if that was on, uh, what that stop be going towards Manhattan after Graham? That would be what Montrose? No, after, that'd be Lorimer. Graham is Ma uh, Lorimer. Lorimer. So that'd be from Lorimer to where we at. No one that's really from that area that really grew up out here would have got down and did that shit. Absolutely not. No Especially one would have did that shit. The train. If they still take the train, nobody would have got down and did that shit. Hands down, number one. I don't give a fuck what you gotta say about that. That's number one. Number two is that's not. A New York City thing. It's not a thing. New York City. That's not a thing. New it's, Yorkers do. It's the and least the thing, New York thing. It's the I've least seen New York year. thing I've ever fucking seen in this city or done to like interpret this city. And people are like, oh, that's this is so New York. That's not New York. That's not a New York thing. That's not a, a real New Yorker thing. And this is something I don't say and I don't get down like this. And I, I hate to say because I know a lot of people who love this city where I do that aren't from here and weren't born here. And though there are like you, you, you might not love it the way I do, but you do have a love and respect for the city. And a lot of the people I saw sharing that shit were people who were born in the city. Anybody who thought that that was funny, who, funny, cool, dope, or anything, yo, like First I said, all, it's disgusting. I, it's disgust. It's disgusting. I want to touch that food. Had I have been on that L train on my way home from work and that shit you was going on, I would have flipped that fucking table. <laughs> you would have had to call a cop and be, like, oh my god, there's a crazy, there's a crazy black man on the train. Yo, what's he doing? He just attacked everybody having Thanksgiving dinner. Wait, what? On the, on the train. train. I would have flipped that fucking <laughs> table, bro. I would have wild out. They would have had to shut the L train down for a few hours. Like, they, hey, for one guy? Shit. It's not quite one guy. It's what the one guy did. <laughs> and, and all he really did was litter. It, it really caused a mess. He destroyed some food. That shit shouldn't have been there to begin with. To begin with, with man. To begin with, man. And, and people thinking I was a real representation of New York, of Brooklyn. 
I'm sorry. Maybe the camaraderie around it, but yo, I don't, nah, man. I'm not cool with it. I didn't like it. That's not a cool representation of it. And just, just for me, everyone who thinks that that was what, nah, man. And like I said, had I been nobody on that train coming home, York, I would have no, flipped out. Nobody really from New York has the time to even try to do some shit like that, bro. It's like everybody that comes in, uh, and uh, what we said in the group chat, a lot of people say, yo, they got to be from Jersey, From bro. Jersey. That's some, yeah. <laughs> got to be nobody's from Jersey, gonna, Nobody's going to give a shit if you do that on a PATH train on New Jersey no. Transit. Nobody's going to care. Oh, they, New your PATH train. They, yo, you, they, might, they even wouldn't even care North, if you did that on Metro North or Long Island Railroad. You had to do that on the MTA train. But they had to do it on the L on train. On the L train. You couldn't the do that L on train. the 7. You couldn't do that on 4, 5, or 6. You had to do it on the L train. You know why? Because the entire city knows the L train. That is called the Crosstown Local for a reason. That's not called like the Brooklyn Crosstown <laughs> Local. That is straight up called the Crosstown Local because it straight runs across Brooklyn and then across Manhattan on 14th Street. It's the Crosstown Local. And that shit is not a BYOB, bro. Nah, man. Uh, yo, that, that, that was one of the things that as a New Yorker, that yo, was the most got disgusting under my shit. skin. Disgusting people sharing food. Like, oh, is it me? A view from another angle. Like, Look, do you guys. understand that there's rats and all types of shit inside yo, the trains? Bro. Like, I see them running yo, in the trains all I the time. If I drop my bottle cap, even if it lands, <laughs> it doesn't touch, if it lands <laughs> on, the, like the, on the cap part, it, it's done. It's done. It's done. You're done for. <laughs> like, this it's shit like, got to be done. I can't put this drink down now. Like, I can't cap it back yo. on. Like, oh, guess we chugging this shit. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. When bro. I saw it, bro. And then when I saw people sharing it, like, like it was cool. Like, it was something hot. Like, somebody's going to go. It was, you seen the dude that he breaks out the table and the wine and all that shit? Like, even that shit, man. Th that, to me, was disgusting. Like, that. that's disgusting. You don't know. Like, and even that, around with that's a turkey clout in a chasing. Bag. Like, that's clout chasing. And, and it's just, for me, it's like, yo, it's, it's, it's the extent to which people will do, like, well, they'll go to any means to go viral. The extent to which people do anything to go viral. That's what it is to me. And that, you're really seeing it. And people just want to do anything. That, ooh, look at me, look at me. Let me, well, ooh, what can I do today to get my followers up? And the craziest thing is, man, it's like that episode, uh, you probably haven't seen, you, you watch Black Mary. Have you seen that episode of Black Mary yet? Mm -mm. Where it's like the society with the likes and shit and dislikes, like you get like a rating, a five star rating, nah. and like, like your numbers Don't affect ruin. shit you have access to or shit. My bad. That was a nice little ringer. Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, you know, it's just crazy. I wonder what the people that actually just going to work, coming home, real New Yorkers, what did they think when they walked into the fucking train? Yeah, I'm, because yo, who do you complain to at that point? You complain I'm, to the MTA? Yeah, I mean, you can tell the conductor, but if you tell the conductor, honestly, they're probably going to shut the train down, make them stop that shit they don't want to. They're going to take the train out of service, make everybody get off. You want to cause a scene? They're going to call the cops. It's going to be a scene. And, you know, and, you know. And they, people they, are going to get roughed up for trying to have. A for clout chasing, a clout chasing thing, Thanksgiving the moment. Like, it, it's ridiculous. For social man. media. For for social media, and you know another and thing is nobody knows how the people are going to react, how the cops are going to react to a situation like that because it's, there has to be some sort of law that's broken. I think I see like no eating signs. No on the fucking eating. Train. Like uh, it's not a law. I'm pretty sure you probably get a citation or something. But uh, yeah, but with how people are today. Somebody's gonna People, mouth off. Somebody's gonna mouth They're off. They're gonna get their it's fucking gonna, elbow it's twisted. Gonna, no, it's gonna be some. Someone's gonna make something. And that's the thing. Something that shouldn't happen. Where you are technically in the wrong, is gonna be blown out of proportion, and then you're only going to see a snippet of it and not what led to it. And it's going to be blown completely out of portion, and proportion, and you know it's gonna it's gonna be bad. You know, on the way here, I witnessed some shit, and I was trying to figure out how I was gonna talk about it. I think this is perfect. There was a guy sleeping on the platform on the subway and two cops two black cops they roll up on him the dude was like hispanic or something they was sleeping so they didn't kick him or nothing they tried to wake him up he was drunk out of his mind clearly they stood there with him for like three minutes yo yo get up they knew people was watching but there wasn't a lot of people there they still trying to wake him up the guy goes and he peels his hat off like to wake his head up yeah. And the dude jumped up like he was ready to fight. Both of the cops go and they reach for the guns. And they're like, don't do it. Don't do it. And I'm there like, yo, should I be recording this shit? I'm just watching. They actually say, yo, we didn't mean to wake you up like that. We was just trying to help you. 
have a good day. And they walked away from that shit. Because, listen. And I was thinking to myself, if that had been another stop with another cop, I would have witnessed somebody get capped. You might have. And, listen, that's A, great training, but B, I'll say they shouldn't be reaching for their guns. They should have been reaching for their tasers. Tasers right side? Uh, Tasers offhand. So, uh, they reach for the right. Nah, it, d- it depends on what hand. So, if you're, if you're, if you're right hand, if I was a cop, if I was righty, my gun's on my right side, my taser's gonna be on your left side. Cause it has to be your offside hand so you know where it is all the time. So, there's no mix up. Gun's on your right. If you're lefty, gun's on your left, taser's on your right. I don't think there was a chance of two left handed cops being there at the same time. I think they nah. were reaching. If. But it goes to show that. Just because you in the subway don't mean that there's like a whole other set of laws. I mean, like, you, but that's you, the thing. No, understand? there's not. But that's also the thing too, man. Is that you know the MTA has bigger problems than fair evasion, and they're deploying cops, the 500 cops for fair evasion. There's still robberies happening in your system. There's still assaults happening in your system. I mean, I think you need to send your entire staff to better community like training, like because your staff has zero com- like like consume like I, I was because. Customer relations, like like consumer try, relations, customer relations, customer relations, like like they have zero of it. Trying to deal with someone in an MTA booth in a token booth. I remember like the dude at Myrtle Wyckoff tried to fight me, came out the booth and tried to like yo, and I just yo I, I, yo dude was mad at me because like I pushed the money through, folded. It was still folded up. He pushed me like I'm folded. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All that money. I was like yo, he, I pushed it back through. Like dude, take the fucking money, man. He, he thought you had a line of anthrax hidden in like, your bro, shirt. Like bro, like like your bro. It's like, yo, you fucking with me. And it, it, it was an old head too. It was an old head. Nigga. This nigga at least 15, 20 years older than me. And he, yo, like yo, are you seriously <laughs> stepping at me, though? And I told him, I know what happens if I come at you, bro. I'm not stupid. That's and he wants to stand yeah, yeah, fucking put as more way, fucking pussy. Like talking his like running his mouth. And it's like, bro, when I came back through the station later that night, he was still there. And I looked in the token booth. Nigga wouldn't look at me. Like, yeah, dog. Now, if I stand out here and wait for your bitch ass to get off, what are you going to do? Because <laughs> I know if you still yeah, here, you, you, you had to emotional. just got on when I got there. And you're about to get off in a few hours because it's close to midnight. So who's going to be the pussy now, dogs, if I stand out here and wait for you? You a scary man, bro. Nah, dude. Nah, because it was uncalled for. It was like, like, and a lot of time, MTA employees. But you do, know that it, attacking an MTA employee is like attacking, attacking a, a cop, cop. But you get the same if they're on years. duty. If they're on duty, uh, with with today's laws and and how social media navigates the story. Social media navigates the story. You, you you provoked me, dog. You off duty. You are off duty cop. You're a regular citizen. You're off duty firefighter, EMT. You're a regular citizen, and that's why they get in trouble when they do dumb shit and they try to drop like, oh, I'm a cop. I'm an EMT, I'm a firefighter. That's why you see some of them get in trouble. You know what else I saw that was circulating? <clears throat> it was a, a photo of this dude eating cashews on the, on the fucking train, and he just threw all the... Oh, pistachio. The pistachio shit. Did you see that? Yeah, those people like that, the people with the sunflower seeds that do that shit, have a bag, something, a napkin like that's disgusting. And then people want to eat turkeys down there. <laughs> Like you've seen videos of rats running up people you, on trains. You, you you got bums getting butt naked on the fucking train. Got bums dropping deuces on these fucking trains. Taking pisses between the carts in the carts, rubbing themselves on the fucking pole that you hold. Between I'll say one AM and five AM, six AM, half of the MTA subway trains. I'll say not not half, I'll say about a third are occupied by someone sleeping. Oh yeah, that that is their you know refuge and heat for the night out of the cold, before and hopefully. A and cop. not all of them are, are are dirty and shit. I mean, it's, some of them is just unfortunate stories on on, on hard times. There are people like but like there are lines shit. people know. Like they say, uh, the E train because the whole time it's underground is like one of the lines that has the most amount of like people like homeless people on the train with all this stuff, and you'll have whole cars like just. At that time, like you can't get on. Just it's just not a good place to have a meal. No, and it's not a New York thing to have a meal. No, nope. if, if I buy Chinese food and I'm on my way somewhere and I'm taking the train, I'm not gonna eat the food in the train. I don't eat on the train, bro. I and might I, eat like I a smell candy food, bar. When I smell food on the train, everybody's looking around to see who the fuck yeah, opened who, the goddamn like, who, plate. Yeah, who's eating food? There's no windows in the train. Like we gotta smell your. Come on. It's not a New York thing. I'll, I'll eat a candy bar. Or maybe have a fruit bowl. <laughs> a yogurt. Something but unscented. Unscented, something quick. 
non-greasy, quick. No, nothing that you have to grab with your fingers. Precisely. Because that is... That's how that, that, that is completely disease. uncalled for on the train. That's the way, you know, that's the way, you know, like you said, Outbreak 2 starts. You ever seen Outbreak with Dustin Hoffman? <laughs> <laughs> that little uh, Thanksgiving dinner is going to be the way Outbreak 2 started. Wasn't it? It was one with uh, with Matt Damon and his wife, too, that she had like a piece of fish that had dropped on the floor. No, nah, it was. Uh, down. That was another one. Not it Contagion. Was, it wasn't fish. It was pork. Pork. That shit. Contagion. Lawrence Fishburne. Kate Winslet. Brian Cranston. He I loves love that his movie. Hollywood films. We'll be back for another one next tomorrow. time.